How to add hot tub chemicals. Hot tubs, like swimming pools, require regular maintenance. However, because of their temperature, hot tubs need to be serviced more regularly. The pH, alkalinity, water hardness, sanitation, and general cleanliness must be maintained. With proper care and attention, you can simply add chemicals in the appropriate amounts to accomplish the majority of hot tubs maintenance needs. Adjusting the pH and total alkalinity of your water. Test your water's total alkalinity. When you fill up your hot tub you need to check the alkalinity of the water. You may even want to repeat this twice per week. The goal is to establish how alkaline your water is. This needs to stay between 80 and 120 ppm. This will help your hot tub resist pH changes. Use testing strips from your local pool and hot tub maintenance store to test your water. These strips can be submerged for as little as 15 seconds and provide you an accurate reading of your water's total alkalinity. These strips will change color according to your water's alkalinity. Match that color to the label to identify your water's alkalinity level. Adjust your alkalinity accordingly. Although 60 to 180 ppm is acceptable, you want your water's alkalinity to stay between 80 and 120 ppm. Too low and your water may become too acidic. Too high and your water may feel soapy. Use pH increaser to raise the alkalinity and pH decreaser to lower your alkalinity. Different pH increaser and pH decreaser kits work differently. Some are liquid and others are powder. Most adjust pH and alkalinity concurrently. For this application, use one that adjusts both pH and alkalinity together. Follow the directions on the packaging carefully. The chemicals are powerful and you want all of them to go into the water. Be careful if there is high wind and you are using powder. Give your water time to settle. It may take a few hours for the chemicals to disperse throughout your system. Your system should stay on during this process as normal. Test your water's pH. Although low pH means your water is acidic and high pH means your water is alkaline, be sure to adjust your water's alkalinity independently of your water's pH. Quite often, adjusting the alkalinity will bring the pH into the normal range of 7.2 to 7.6 but this may not always be the case. Low pH will cause corrosion while high pH will case scale formation. Use testing strips from your local pool and hot tub maintenance store to test your water. These strips can be submerged for as little as 15 seconds and provide you an accurate reading of your water's pH. These strips will change color according to your water's pH. Match that color to the label to identify your water's pH level. Use testing strips from your local pool and hot tub maintenance store to test your water. These strips can be submerged for as little as 15 seconds and provide you an accurate reading of your water's pH. These strips will change color according to your water's pH. Match that color to the label to identify your water's pH level. Adjust your water's pH. If you must adjust your pH be careful to not adversely affect your total alkalinity. If your total alkalinity is already adjusted properly, your water will already resist changes to pH. Both pH increase and pH decrease will impact both pH and total alkalinity. If you already have relatively high total alkalinity e.g., close to 120 ppm try using a pH increase that is explicitly designed to increase pH but not increase alkalinity. Give your water time to settle. It may take a few hours for the chemicals to disperse throughout your system. Your system should stay on during this process as normal. If you are only worried about pH, you can retest your pH after half an hour. If you already have relatively high total alkalinity e.g., close to 120 ppm try using a pH increase that is explicitly designed to increase pH but not increase alkalinity. Give your water time to settle. It may take a few hours for the chemicals to disperse throughout your system. Your system should stay on during this process as normal. If you are only worried about pH, you can retest your pH after half an hour. Retest your water's total alkalinity and pH. After your water has settled, retest both total alkalinity and pH. Hopefully everything will be within the normal ranges. Try to stay in the 80 to 120 ppm for total alkalinity and 7.2 to 7.6 picohenries ranges for best operation. It is generally better to stay in the high end of the range. This is because the consequence of high total alkalinity and high pH is scale buildup which is preferred over acid corrosion. Buildup you can clean off, but corrosion will require repairs.